literally haven't even left the airport and it's already been a shit show. How you feeling, Sarah? I'm stressed. <laughs> you know what? In my like gut, I kind of had a feeling that like something was gonna go wrong. Same. But you know what? This just makes the vlog more interesting. Yep. We literally haven't even left the airport, and it's already been a shit show. I don't even know how to explain it. Our second flight, the one to New Zealand, got canceled. Guys. Like. 30 minutes ago and we're supposed to check in in like 15 minutes <laughs> and like our, our first flight was already delayed by an hour <laughs> Inshallah we can get it figured out we'll see I don't know we're, free we're kind of freaking out here <laughs> the look of pure defeat. At least we made it, right, guys? Right? You right? Right? Yeah, at the end of the day, you just have to say Alhamdulillah. That's it. Sure. Okay. <laughs> so, guys, doesn't this remind you of our Sweden trip when we had a lot of stuff? We were under a lot of pressure. You know, the same angle where Amir, half of Amir's forehead is cut out of the frame. And all the feelings. <laughs> no, Stress, listen. Anger. Let me tell you guys. Confusion. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say, last week when we hung out, do you remember when I was like, Loki? I hope I we know. miss our New Zealand she flight. She jinxed it, man. <laughs> I said, I hope we miss our New Zealand flight, and then we can spend some time in we New Zealand. New Zealand anymore. And they ended up canceling the whole flight. And now we're not going to New Zealand, and we're just gonna go straight to Melbourne. But mm -hmm. <sighs> I have stress pimples, literally. I'm gonna use my mighty patches to like try and get rid of it. I feel like I have enough time now to go and get a smoothie. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Look at these people. Well Look at these people leaving line. We have time. No one's moving. Yeah, but I bet you, you know, like everything else works out, the moment you walk away, they're going to start boarding the flight. And then just call me and I'll run back. Nah. Guys, I was telling Sarah a story before this, okay? There's a guy. Oh, yeah. He was at an airport, okay? He was at an airport, and he was with his wife. And they're about to, you know, it's close to boarding time, but she's like, oh, I need a coffee. I don't know why she needs a coffee. Dude is like, chill, it's fine. You know, there's a cafe like literally right next to the, to the, next to the gate. So he's like, okay, get a coffee there. And she's like, nah, I need Starbucks, okay? So I already don't like her, but, <laughs> but of course the Starbucks happens to be on the other side of the airport, right? So she's like, no worry, I'll make it in time, I'll make it in time. So she makes her way to the Starbucks and like, as she's away, he notices they start boarding, right? So he tries to call her, but she didn't answer at all. He calls her like four or five times. She's not answering. At this point, this guy's literally walking through the gate, getting onto the plane, and she still hasn't answered. So finally, she calls him back. You know, she's like, oh, I got my coffee, whatever. And he's like, where are you? She's, he's like, I'm on the plane. We're about to take off. You can book another flight. <laughs> and, and, and one key thing here is that she's a repeat offender. She's done this before and they've missed the flight before because of this reason. And, and I forgot to even tell you this earlier, it was a connecting flight. So you're like in a place that's not even your home. So like if you are lost, you may, it's going to cost you even more. Yeah. So is he in the wrong? I don't think he's in the wrong. I still don't think he should have left her. He should have just told her, don't go get, don't get coffee. But she didn't listen. So. Exactly, exactly. Look, show them your face. Whatever. Show them your face, okay? Whatever. So, basically, I'm trying to set the scene for you guys. We're all on our way to the airport, and all of a sudden, um, I'm in the Uber and I get a text from Nabat and she goes, you guys, our flight to New Zealand is canceled. So basically we were supposed to fly from Toronto to San Francisco and then San Francisco to New Zealand and then New Zealand to Melbourne. But the flight from San Francisco to New Zealand was canceled. And so we started panicking and I was trying to keep my cool in that Uber. I was like, okay, no big deal. I'll just call customer service. So Nabat was already on the phone with customer service. And we're like trying to get through 
I think I was on hold for like 30 minutes and then they hung up on me, but we make it to the airport. I, I want you to take it away from here though because I feel like they need to hear it from your perspective. Okay, so basically, um, the guy on customer service was like, we have another flight that leaves like an hour later, same route. And we were like, okay, can you book us on? But he was like, in order to change your ticket, like you guys already checked in, so we can't change your ticket and you have to like uncheck in yourself. But Iman, this one right here, <laughs> came early and already checked her bags in. So they were like, oh, you can't have your bags checked in because um, the ticket or something on the, the bag tag is wrong. So she had to, they said she has to like retrieve her bag <laughs> from wherever it is in the airport and then get, bring it back so we, she can check in again. And then we got them to like call whoever had the bag or whatever to take it out of like being put on the plane. And then we were like, okay, let's just start booking the rest of our tickets. And then the guy on customer service was like, wait, they already changed your flights for you. So you're on a new flight, which is like actually better. It goes direct. But um, then we were like, let's find Iman because she's like running around the airport looking for her bag. And then we were checking in in the meantime. And we were at this point, like checking was closing. So like he managed to get two of ours in, yeah. but mine was, while he was checking us in, checking close. So now we get to get manager approval to get us checked in. And then Iman made it back, checked us in, and now we're on the plane. We don't know what's happening with our bags. We don't even have our tickets for the next flight. We just know what time it leaves. We'll figure yeah. it out when we're there. <laughs> while we're flying, they say that the traveler's dua gets answered. I'm definitely making dua that we get upgraded to first class from San Francisco to Melbourne. Inshallah, ya Rab. Anyways, don't ever underestimate the power of dua. So we will see you guys probably in San Fran. Amir is probably going to insert some B-roll at this point. Maybe I'll get some cool shots of the clouds or something if I don't sleep. But see you guys very soon. Bye. about that right now. I'm okay. gonna fall. Let's go guys. Can we stop somewhere? Just wait we can we can stop outside. Chill, if chill, I chill, fall chill. In That's flight one of now two flights instead of three. Like we had before. Hopefully nothing else happens. What is this girl doing? Oh what my god. <laughs> Just trying to figure out how we can get our boarding passes. I think we'll be good. We'll be good, right, Sarah? <laughs> <laughs> we were able to get checked in or get our boarding passes for the flight. So now we're like, damn, we just realized we're not going to get any meals on the flight because we made those specialty requests. But that was for the flight that was canceled. So we're like, shit, we got to go and buy some food. And little did we know that San Francisco apparently is not Hawaii friendly. And there's like no food options at all. At least that we could eat. I just spent $20. There's two dry as boiled eggs and it's like dry as tuna sandwich. Alhamdulillah, at least we know we have a flight now. We're going directly to Melbourne and we should be okay. He's black. She thinks that he's a basketball player. Go pro. And then I could be like, I know an NBA player. You're such a, what do they call those people who like fall people? Uh, a groupie. Ah, that's what it is. She's definitely a groupie. She's. <laughs> See how many machines are there, guys? We got off the plane and we waited in line because next to the gate there were two of those machines and we thought, oh, these are the only two machines. And then we walked down the hallway and it's like 20 more of them. We literally waited in line for no reason. And they weren't even working. I don't even know what it shows. 
Oh my god. The bat came clutch and asked the right questions. And we didn't have to wait in that long ice line. We only found that out after like 10 or 15 minutes of actually waiting. <laughs> but it was not moving and we realized that we did that whole e-password thing that I just complained about to pass that line. So I guess we're lucked out. Now to get our baggage and inshallah it actually came. <laughs> This is the moment of truth, y'all. We'll see if our luggage actually came through. Ask him if he's an NBA player. No, sir, stop being a groupie. What are you doing? <laughs> oh my god, this is. Will our adventure end here and we actually get our packages or will we have to go on another adventure to actually get them? Inshallah, we don't have to go on that extra adventure, but I guess you'll find out in a second. So it looks like the adventure is not over. Our baggage didn't leave San Francisco. <laughs> what do you have to say about that, Sarah? Huh? I'm not gonna freak out yet. Mm -hmm. Let's just talk to baggage services. Wait, maybe, you know, maybe we figured it out, I don't know. Okay, yeah, yeah we're gonna try and figure this out. I don't have an outfit for the wedding tomorrow, apparently. That my means, dress is in my, in my big suitcase. What did so you say? My dress that I'm supposed to wear tomorrow yeah. is in that suitcase. So yeah, we gotta figure this out. For a guy, it's easy. For a girl, it's a little bit harder. So we'll, we'll see what happens. I just realized we never actually explained what we did here, but essentially we confirmed first that our bags were in fact in San Francisco. And then we went to the front desk and they said they couldn't really do much except for put in a ticket. So they did that for us. We were still kind of stressing, but like we couldn't do much more after that. So we stepped out, we reunited with our friends and fam and we kind of just kept an eye on it and prayed that we would have our bags by the next day. But just in case, we did make plans to go shopping. Everyone's here. We're just making our way to the rental place so we can actually get the car and, you know, at least maybe go on a shopping spree, we'll see. Shopping spree? Yeah, yo, we do not have any clothes right now, okay? <laughs> I'm, I legit asked them, my first question was, where's the gym? Because I'm itching right now, okay? Priorities. Priorities. <laughs> yes, priorities. Okay guys, we secured the bag, got ourselves the wedding outfit. Sara's been busy trying to still get her stuff in that store as she looks for shoes and hopefully finishes her outfit. We'll see. I'm ready to just knock out, but we can't because it's too early. It's only like 5.30. But yeah, this jet lag's hitting. And also we got Faisa in here. <laughs> He's fully awake. This yeah. guy's like ready to go. He's ready to party. What? Exactly. This man said he got nine hours on the flight, so he's he's fully rested and ready to go. But we're just ready to knock out. But yeah, we'll see. I don't know. We secured the bags at least, so we're set for tomorrow. But we see movement with our luggage, so hopefully by tomorrow, inshallah, we'll actually have the luggage as well. But yeah. Things are working out, you know, we just had patience. Saba, right? Yeah. Sub, sub, exactly. Sub, sub, sub. You already know. It's the next day. Not much happened after we last spoke, but actually, a lot has happened since the last update. Uh, we found out that our luggage uh, has actually made it onto a flight here that came in the morning. So we're currently, me and Faisal here, are uh, currently heading to the airport to hopefully be able to pick it up. We're technically not able to pick it up yet, but it takes like an hour and 20 minutes to get there. So hopefully by the time we get there, it'll go through the process and everything. And Saga, this whole story, this whole mess of a trip here will be over. We'll see. You know what it is, guys. Finally secured the bags with the help of my family here actually if they said <laughs> the craziness is finally over we have our bags and we are ready to actually get ready for this wedding so hopefully we'll see y'all there next coming up on the cousin connection blog australia